Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is twelfth lecture of this dynamic programming series, part one. In previous lecture, we have seen there are two kinds of uh, uh, path query that we were to discuss about. First type of query we have already seen in the previous lecture, where we have to start from cell one one, and all you have to do is reach cell n m, where n is the number of rows and m are number of columns, and uh, from cell ij you can reach either down or down right so starting from 1 1 you have to go nm and you have to either maximize or minimize the total sum of the path we have already seen and covered that type of problem in previous lecture lecture 11 now in this lecture we are going to uh, study this kind of problem where you have to start from uh, first row no matter in which column do you start doesn't matter you can either start from here 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 doesn't matter you have to start from row one and you have your goal is to reach nth row doesn't matter which column so starting from here you can take this path and reach here and this is a valid path because you are starting from first row and reaching the last row and from cell ij you can go either down down left and down right if those cell exist so you have to start from uh, any cell from first row and end goal is to reach cell n sorry row n doesn't matter which column and we have to find the uh, in this case we have to find the minimum cost of the path so we will do exactly the same thing we have done in 11th lecture and there is not much change in this procedure to solve this problem as well now as you can see we'll uh, create an array dp of the same size as the input now dp of ij tells you the minimum cost to start from that cell cell ij and reach the end end goal and end goal as you already know is to reach the nth row so dp of ij is the minimum cost to reach any cell in the nth row which is the last row from cell ij so dp of 2 2 would tell you the minimum cost to reach uh, any cell in the last row starting from cell 2 2 so if you remember from the previous lecture what we did we started from uh, cell nm because that was the last cell and that was what we called as base case now here the base case is actually the whole last row why because you see if you start from cell say 3 3 oh, sorry 3 1 this cell you are actually you have already actually uh, reached to your end goal and end goal is to reach the last row if you start from last row you are already in the last row so you don't have to make any other uh, other move because we want to minimize so making another move will only add to the result and other thing is uh, there is no cell down down left or down right to this cell so when you start from this cell this is the end this is uh, your end goal you have achieved your end goal so if you start if you start from cell 3 1 or 3 2 or 3 3 or 3 4 basically if you start from any cell in the last row dp of that cell would be the cost of that cell itself so uh, dp of 3 1 3 2 3 3 and 3 4 will be equal to array uh, in the input whatever the array input is 3 1 3 2 3 3 and 3 4 because when you start from this cell you are already in the uh, you have already achieved your end goal so you don't have to go anywhere now let's see uh, so this is your base case for these kind of problem the the last row itself is the base case now we have done base case now let's fill uh, row by row from n minus 1th row to the first row so we would start filling this row to fill this cell to make decision for this cell uh, you can either go down or down right now the cost when you go down is 3 the cost when you go down right is 1 uh, there is no down left for this cell right so the minimum of these two is of course 1 and we want to minimize the cost so we will choose this so 1 plus is stepping on this cell is 9 so 1 plus 9 is going to be 10 similarly for this cell uh, you can choose either from here 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 and the minimum of all of these is 1 so the cost would be starting from here the cost to reach any cell in the last 
row would be 1 plus whatever the cost of this cell is. The cost of this cell is 9. So 1 plus 9 that is 10. So now we have filled this cell. Let's go fill this cell. For this cell, three options you have is to go down, left or right and minimum of all of these is 1. So 1 plus cost of this cell which is 7. So 8. For this cell, only down and down left. Minimum of these two is 4. So 4 plus 9 is for sorry 4 plus 5 is 9 so we have filled this row now we'll go to fill this row again same story for this cell you have two cells either you can go down or down right minimum of these two is 10 of course so 10 plus cost of this cell which is 5 so 15 so basically what this tells you is that if you start from this cell the minimum cost you can reach your end goal is 15 and that is 5 plus 9 plus 1 so this is the path so minimum cost if you start from this cell is 15 and let's calculate for this cell so minimum uh, of these three cell is 8 so 8 plus 1 is 9 similarly for this cell minimum of these three is 8 8 plus cost of this which is 2 2 plus uh, 8 is 10 for this the minimum is 8 8 plus 6 14 so you see if you start from this cell reaching the end goal that is any cell in the last row is of cost 15 if you start from this cell the cost is 9 if you start from this cell the cost is 10 and if you start from this cell the cost is 14 so we have to tell uh, the minimum cost if you start from the first row and each uh, and reach your end goal and if we know that if you if i start from this cell the minimum i can achieve is nine so a nine would be our answer so after calculating dp array print the minimum from the uh, first row i know you can implement this because this is easier than the lecture that we uh, the problem that we have studied in the 11th, uh, 11th lecture so i leave the implementation of this algorithm to you and even if you can't implement that's completely okay because we are going to take a problem uh, from one of the uh, online judges and we are going to solve one of the problems uh, one problem for each of the two uh, algorithm that we have studied each of the two different tes tests So this was all for this lecture. Thank you guys for watching till the end till the next video drops keep coding. Thank you